right guys, it's Blackie from Shaman Forge Bushcraft with another, another tender idea. This is a paper birch. They grow along rivers, sometimes called river birch, etc. And it's the southern cousin to the birch trees you hear up in New England that they made you know, canoes out of and stuff. Ours don't get nearly like that. As you see, this bark peels off and shoots. Makes very good timber. The thick pieces act like uh, twigs. And the thin pieces can be shaved like the cedar bark up north to produce an easily ignited tinder. Also, quite often whenever the tree dies, like this one did, you'll end up with a hunk of bark and the wood is rotted out of it. That's how resilient this bark is. Now, let me see if I can get you up close of it. This is river birch, right here. River birch is patchy but does not peel up as much. Paper birch does this. It just constantly splits and peels up. It's a very good tender source to know. Now, can you make vessels out of it? Yes, whenever it's green in spring and the bark's up and you've got a nice smooth like this, you can make containers and things out of this. Um, I have seen people say, and this is rather, and this is on the ground, I just picked it up, and uh, the log is completely rotted out of it, yet it is resilient in the bark. I mean, it's completely gone, the wood. So, putting a wooden plug in something like this, in some sort of cap, it'd be a container. Actually, fairly tough. But you can split a piece of green bark, a good section. Then in the middle of it, make like a shape like that, and fold the two halves back up and then seam the sides up. It's called the Cherokee Berry Basket. I'll try to do that a little later on when the sap gets up in the tree. You're going to kill the tree doing it because you're cutting the bark all the way around. But you can make containers out of it or, you know, gathering baskets, stuff like that. But as a fire source, it's a very, very good fire source because you can treat it like the birch bark you see up north. You can take your knife and shave it, make fine shavings that readily, readily catch a spark. And these big pieces can be torn off, scraped, gathered, and put into a pile. And the volatile oil that comes out of the birch tree will ignite it and burn very readily. Good thing to know when things are all wet. The cypress and the birch are two trees to know when things are wet. Hope this gives you some ideas, guys. I'm Blackie for Shaman Forge Bushcraft. Wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.